No Sugar Keto Cups from a company called The No Sugar Company. Comes with an ebook. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos, we do product reviews, we talk about various keto topics, and then every Monday, when we sit down on the couch for a keto on the couch, we just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com, and that's where you're gonna find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. So recently, I was in Costco, and every time I go to Costco, I like to go up and down the aisles and see, it's like, is there anything new? We are always looking for a better peanut butter cup. Right. Or one of these little dessert cups because it reminds us of our Reese's days. Mm -hmm. And those were always my fave. So I found these and uh, it's called the No Sugar Keto Cup. Not very fun. You wouldn't want to Lion King this at a party, right? No. For the kids. Like, no sugar. No fun in this box. By the way, ignore the green screen in the back. We were doing kids ministry and I didn't feel like taking it down. And we were going to put a cool background, which I don't think I'm going to be able but to. But there's a lot of green. Because this is all green. And then it just goes invisible. So, okay. So there's three flavors in here. Dark chocolate caramel, dark chocolate mint, and dark chocolate hazelnut. Okay. So on the back, there's some copy. It says the no sugar keto cup is the first of its kind. Rich in flavor, fats, and coconut oil, MCTs, while keeping your net carbs as low as possible with zero grams of sugar, the No Sugar Keto Cup will thrill your taste buds and provide you with the energy you need to power through your day. The No Sugar Keto Cup makes an excellent addition to any keto and low-carb, high-fat meal plan. Not a low-calorie food. There's some lofty goals there. I mean, we have seen some other keto cup type things on the yes, market. Yes, but a lot of times they have like ingredients that I'm not a big fan of. It's interesting that they're not going the peanut butter route. Ooh, okay. So oh, that's nice. You got that, and you got like this. So they're individually wrapped, which I love. I love that. Let's pull one of each one out. Let's try them. Don't use your teeth. Too late. And one of these guys. Okay. So I do like the fact that they're individually wrapped. That's nice. So we'll put that over there. We'll need the box. Okay. So we got hazelnut, dark chocolate, caramel, and mint. We gotta finish with mint. Yeah, because I feel like that takes over. Hazelnut the taste. is always my least favorite. Really? Some people are like way into hazelnut because that's like a Nutella. Okay. Looks like a, a, a Reese's. All right. It's got a good amount of chocolate around it. Get Ooh, it is, it is gooey. Wow. And for South Florida, that's that's pretty good. Trying, trying to make sure we get everything because it's got like a filled inside. Now, this Thank has you. just been sitting on the counter. Probably should have had them in the refrigerator because it's so hot here. Mmm. Mmm. Good. I think that the refrigerator would make a difference. It's like caramel. So the chocolate's really good. The inside is just. It's like a caramel almost. Gooey. Mm-hmm. It's not a real punch you in the face hazelnut. But what is hazelnut supposed to taste like? Right. That's kind of a toughie. I mean, even Nutella just always tasted like a chocolate mm -hmm. to me. I like that. Okay. Again, now these are not peanut butter cups. They're just like filled cups. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, it's a Reese's, but we're not going to put Ooh, that butter. smells good. This is the caramel. Okay. Smell it. Oh, yeah. That smells very, like, caramelly. You've got the the tough job of breaking them in okay. two. Okay. Oh, the, see, yeah. There we go. That, that's... Oh, wow. That's amazing. That is really nice. And the middle is different. More like a peanut butter middle as far as like how thick the filling is it's got like a grittiness to it it's i like nice. these these may be my favorite like cups that we've had very nice like, like better than the the uh lily's ones, ones and the keto bombs these are good really nice i did see 
quickly when we were just reading that copy, they're made with erythritol. Mm -hmm. But I'm not tasting erythritol. I'm not getting a cooling effect. What about you? No. And I'm super sensitive to it. Okay. So we got mint. So I, I'm really hoping this is like an Andy's candy. You smell? Oh, it's minty. It smells like Andy's Very minty. candy. Did I just put it on my nose. And it tastes like Andy's candies. Maybe a little bit more chocolate. More chocolate. The mint is muted, but I don't mind that. Like, I know it's mint. You got to eat it without getting the outside because there's a thick chocolate piece on the outside. If Try to get just the middle and there's a good mint flavor. That's very nice. These and are good. The chocolate consistency is very nice. I like these. I like these. And if, you, if you made them cold. Much better. Those are good. Five things. Five things. So if you're chocolate new to our you. channel, we review all products based on five things. We're going to talk about the ingredients. Lick your finger. Does it keto based on nutrition label? How does it taste? How much does it cost? And finally, would we recommend it? You got the box? I do. Okay. I don't want to lose any. Number one, the ingredients. Okay. So chocolate liqueur. This is pretty much all of them. Fat. Then we have a fats blend, which is coconut oil, RSPO certified sustainable palm kernel oil, which I'm fine with. That's like a coconut oil kind of thing. Cocoa butter, sunflower seeds, milk fat, RSPO certified sustainable palm oil, sunflower lecithin, and sunflower oil. So that is the fats blend for this. Okay. Then we have erythritol, a non-GMO soluble corn fiber, sodium castanate, natural caramel, and other flavors, uh, salt, stevia leaf extract, and then vanilla powder and cocoa powder. Contains milk. And it looks like, okay, so the mint one, the only ingredient difference is, is the last ingredient is peppermint oil. I was going to say, should have some sort of mint. And then the other one um, is the hazelnut. And uh, it looks like uh, you have your fats blend first, and then your chocolate liqueur is after your fats blend. Okay. And then obviously, oh, and it's got hazelnuts in it. So pretty, I think they're very good ingredients. Decent. And by the way, there's 30 servings in this box. Which is nice. Okay. So number two, does it keto based on a nutrition label? Okay, so one piece, and again, I'm more likely to stick to one piece because they've wrapped, like they've wrapped it individually. So one piece across the board, no matter what flavor, is 80 calories. Um, the dark chocolate caramel has eight grams of fat. So does the hazelnut. The mint has seven grams of fat. I, I would expect that. The dark chocolate caramel and the mint have seven grams of carbohydrates. The um, dark chocolate hazelnut has eight. Okay. Um, the protein is, is two grams of protein for caramel and mint, one gram of protein for the, the chocolate hazelnut. But then all of them have three grams of fiber and three grams of erythritol. Uh, hazelnut's got four grams oh, of Oh, I'm fiber. sorry, four grams for the hazelnut. So you're looking at each one of them is one net carb. I think that's good. So again, I, I'm a person who like, uh, listen, when I do this, I'm going to subtract the erythritol because I know how my body reacts to erythritol, but I'm not willing to subtract the fiber. And we've talked about this before. If my body doesn't just digest the fiber, guess what? It just meant I ate less carbs than I thought I did for the right. day. I'd rather overestimate than underestimate what I'm eating. So, but at, even at seven total carbs, like I'm pretty good with that as a like once in a while kind of thing, especially yeah. like right after your dinner, you want that little bit of sweetness or something like that. I usually want something sweet after we've eaten something very spicy. Is that the way that you are to leave it down in the comments down below? Do you like eating something sweet after you've had something super spicy? Yeah. So if you took out just your sugar alcohol, which is more of the way I would like to go, I'd be looking at four carbs per each cup, and I'm good with that. So I'm Me pretty too. impressed with like the nutritional label on this. So that brings us to number three. I think they taste really good. How do they taste? I think that they taste really good, and sometimes you just want a little piece of chocolate. And we are always on a quest 
to get a, a keto friendly chocolate option that's not gonna derail us. How do you rank these compared to some of the other ones we've had? I definitely think that they're tastier than the slim fast ones mm. that we've had. The chalk zero ones are sweeter than this. This one is is not as sweet as like right. the chalk zero But those kind. are also like peanut butter cups. Right. These aren't peanut and butter cups. And the white chocolate versus this kind of like a dark chocolate. It's not, it's not so dark it's bitter on right. the outside but it's certainly not a, a true milk chocolate where it's very very sweet or not and not a white chocolate you know flavor yeah so um i think that the portion size is really nice too mm, so i like them so i think that this is something that i would absolutely grab and go but we're putting it inside of the the freezer because okay. i think they'll taste i better. think they'll be better and plus they'll take longer to eat that in south way. florida well let's talk about number four because that usually affects things for me and yes. that is how much do they cost so I got this box at Costco for 12 bucks. Okay. Which I'm pretty impressed with it yeah. after tasting them because I mean, that's like less than 30. 50 cents for each cup. And I mean, we've been running into cookies where like a single cookie has a tremendous amount of high total carbs right? and it's expensive, right. like both of those things. And it looks like, I mean, just as a side note, they're mentioning that you can get a free ebook if you buy this called No Sugar, in me so that might be something cool i'm sure there's probably there's a little code on the box oh, for cool. you to redeem that so they do have a bunch of like certifications like on the back or non-gmo ingredients they are kosher ingredients and it is certified gluten-free from the gfco.org so yeah. um okay number five would we recommend it I highly recommend these. I think they're really good. And I like the fact that you're getting a variety of flavors. You've got like chocolate all over the box because it is, it's nice and gooey, which is kind of what I want right. from, from my chocolate. I like that they're in a wrapper. And I think that this will be really nice as we get into the holiday season. If you want to put out on your holiday table, you know, it's like a candy dish with and some again, candies. Like this. I think that the perfect. kids will enjoy it. Also, you know, the fact that you've got like a whole bag, you could you could make a little treat bag for somebody and share it and then not give them something that's gonna load them up with sugar. Yeah. Well, let us know down in the comment section if you've tried these. You know, the one thing that can be a little disheartening sometimes when it comes to Costco is it's in ours and not in yours. Right. So there's lots of times where people find products in their Costco and I'm like, uh, what about us down here in South Florida? So whether you try them or not, let us know if you see them in your Costco. Yeah, and let us know if you've tried them and what your opinion on them is. So if you like seeing videos like this, check out some of the other videos that we have linked right down there. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which I've linked right over here. But whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon and that way every single time we try something new, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time, bye. bye.